Samira says other women are interested in the same guy as me and they started to gossip about me. Do these things have a negative influence on a guy in the beginning? Maybe. I mean, it depends on the guy, right? Like, if he's a smart guy and he's a mature guy and he sees these women, like, gossiping about you, he's probably going to be like... <laughs> I don't know. If he's, if he's really... If he's, like, in tune, he's going to be like, oh, okay, these girls are jealous and <laughs> and they're acting they're acting in a very low class kind of way and you know it doesn't really matter i mean it depends on what he what they say and you know what he believes and kind of what kind of a guy he is so it, it just really kind of depends on him so right now we live in a time where a lot of guys aren't approaching because they're afraid right they're afraid of the me too movement they're afraid of getting sexual harassment charges against them they've become lazy because they have tinder now and so you can get on tinder depending on where you are you can jump on tinder and have a whole bunch of matches within a few you know days or hours depending on where you are and so if you want to get approached, what you need to do is you need to make yourself available to getting approached. One, you need to go to places where there's going to be a lot of traffic. There's going to be a lot of people going through, like maybe find a busy park, depending on where you live, or going to a place, going to any kind of place where there's a lot of people that come. If you're into bars and stuff, you can go and do that and go hang out in bars. And the best is if you go alone. You know, sometimes you might not feel comfortable going alone, and if you don't feel comfortable going alone, especially in the bar and club kind of area, what you want to do is go with one girlfriend and at max two girlfriends. As soon as it goes above that, the guy's got to have super balls in order to come over and have the confidence to approach you. Or if you have a guy, don't bring any guys with you. Just go and make your one that's the first thing is go to places where there are a lot of a lot of guys maybe i'll do a video on this go to a place where there's a lot of guys or a lot of traffic go alone preferably or with one or two friends the next one is make sure that you like look around so a lot of women they'll go out and they're like on their phones the entire time you know it's like oh you're just trying to not get approached right when you're on your phone or you have headphones in or any of that kind of stuff like if a guy's really confident he'll come up because he doesn't care but for the most part try to make it as easy as possible for you to get approached so look around you know if you see a cute guy you know look at him and smile right and there's kind of this body language that women give when they they want to be approached by a guy and it kind of signals to him because guys aren't great at getting hints but most guys get it if you're interested if they're you know above the age of 25 and they've gone out and dated more than <laughs> a little bit they, they there's signals that they get right and the signal is you look at them and when they look at you you look down in a way or look, you look down and then you look back at them and you smile and then you look down again right and so this is what it looks like it looks like you're looking at him he looks at you and that's what it looks like right and you can look at him again if you want to but that signals to him that he should come over and approach you Right? He goes, oh, okay, she's interested. She looked at me. She started smiling. That doesn't mean that he's going to approach you, though, because he might be taken. He might be shy. He might be a lot of different things. However, that's one of the ways to make sure that if you, uh, a guy is around and he sees you, that he knows that you want him to approach you. There's other things that you can do as well. I have a whole... There's a whole thing that I put together for this. I'll, I'll probably just do a live stream on it because... There's a lot to be said about it.